Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thank you for stopping by the channel. Now I've got a pretty cool pattern for you today. This one's called a March Brown Spider. Now I know there are lots of flies out there on YouTube called a March Brown Spider. So why do we need another one? Well, this one is a little different. I got this from Dave Hughes, Essential Trout Flies. He's also got it in his American Fly Tying Manual. And Dave actually calls this his favorite wet fly when there's no hatch going on and he just needs a searching pattern. And Dave got this fly from Sylvester Neems, 1975, Soft Hackle Fly. So how is this one different from the Peter Charles and the Davy McPhail versions you see out there? Well, for starters, this one doesn't have a tail and it's got a little bit different of a body. It's a mix of hair's mask and a little bit of sparkle yarn. So it doesn't necessarily have that old North Country spider look to it. To me, it looks a little bit like a hair bodied kind of soft hackle, almost a nymph fly, but it's called a March Brown spider and you fish it like a wet fly. And it's a really cool pattern. I think you're gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, the March Brown Spider. Now, common size for this, as big as a 10, small as a 16. I'm gonna tie it on a size 12. This is a 1X long wet fly hook and some brown. I'm using 70 denier UTC brown. You could also use an orange. This is a rusty brown and use black if you have to, but just put a base all the way down to the start of the bend. Now the rib I'm going to use on this is an oval tinsel. So it's a French oval in size medium. You don't have to go as big as a medium, but I'll show you why I am. It's not really going to be all that visible, but it'll be enough visible. So a small would probably work, but I kind of like the, the medium. Now don't worry if you've got a little step right there, because we've got a pretty buggy body. So after you catch your tinsel in, just take your thread, back to the to the rib put some wax on it and now the dubbing on this the Dave Hughes Sylvester Neems version is hair's mask mixed with some sparkle yarn so what I will do I will pull out some hair's mask just right below the ear some of those guard hairs and then a little bit down by the cheek which is basically just you know rabbit it's kind of soft but the sparkle yarn, this is how, another way that theirs is different. So just sparkle yarn, this is a cream, not expensive stuff. You could probably buy a big skein of this from Walmart for really cheap, but it's a, a three strand yarn. So what I'll do, I'll just twist it and then I'll take one strand right here and then snip it at about less than half an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. And so you get a little, piece like this and this these little fibers will just you know they will mix in with your dubbing very easily see what I did there and I just kind of made a mess on my hook but when you've got your dubbing mix with some hair's mask and some rabbit and that sparkle yarn put in it um, you know it doesn't necessarily it, it will stick together and, and be much easier to dub so I've got the wax on my thread I'm just going to Touch this on here, put a fairly tight noodle, maybe three inches or so. It might take me two applications to dub the whole length of this 1X long hook, but just try to lay a, a fairly smooth, don't worry about a taper, but a, a fairly smooth body all the way up to where we're going to tie in our hackle. Okay, that is an almost football shaped body. I think that's gonna look fine. Now to wrap my rib, I'm gonna put one full wrap on the back and then just open spirals all the way up. And on this size 12, it'll probably take five wraps. Okay, I think that was six, but oh well. Let's go ahead and catch it in couple of tight wraps up front, maybe one, one in front and behind it before we snip it off. Now here is an option that I like to do before I tie in the hackle. 
just take my dubbing brush, old toothbrush or pick or whatever you've got, and just brush some of this out. You might expose some of this sparkle yarn. It's going to really give this some glistening through the water. So we've roughed that up a little bit. Now our hackle. I'm using brown partridge. So just a small partridge feather. It's dyed brown. Go ahead and pull all the, the fluff off the bottom just to get it out of your way. And I tie it in from the tips. You don't have to. If you were tying this like a, really wanted it to look like an old North Country spider, you'd probably strip the fibers off one half of this feather. And also, one note a lot of folks will do, they will go ahead and cut that, that front tip and just leave the triangle. Now, I don't usually do that, and I'll tell you why, is sometimes you won't have enough um, of that stem caught in when you do that. So I'll put two wraps with that, you know, that front piece there, and then I fold it back over, and now I really lock it in with two or three good wraps. So it is, may, it might be a little quicker if you went ahead and trim this first, but then you also risk pulling the whole feather out. So that's just how I do it. I trim it after I got it caught in. Now take your hackle pliers. We're going to put about two wraps of this partridge on here. Just kind of preen it back as you wrap the first one around. And then the second one just right in front of that first one. And I'm going to catch it off on my side here. Oops, slipped out of my pliers, but it's still in there fairly tight. Well, no, it's not. That's just one wrap. So, well, that happens. If you mess up, just pull it back. And the partridge is still in there. So, nothing lost but about 15 seconds of tying time. There's my first wrap. And here is my second one. Okay, now let's catch this stem in right here with two turns before we snip it. Just reach in here and cut this stem as close as you can get it. That's going to be enough hackle. That's how much hackle I did not use. You can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more securing wrap before I pull these back and work on the head. So just a few wraps right there. I've got that little nub sticking up. And if you're a perfectionist and that would bother you, then just take your thread right back to the eye and try to build this ramp and hopefully you can capture it. Or not and don't worry about it. Or take your scissors and try to snip it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to worry about it. So just finish building your head. Got some room for your whip finish right here. You know that is bugging me. Got that one little fiber right there. Let's see if we can get that in there. Okay. Make for a prettier head. Of course this is not an Instagram fly. This is going in my fly box. But why not make it pretty if you can. So a four turn whip finish. Slide my scissors in here, don't snip them, just poke them. And there you go. The March Brown Spider. Classic soft hackle wet fly. Pretty cool pattern, pretty easy to tie. So that's it my friends, I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.